Hey everybody, it's Doug. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. It's great to see you. You look fantastic. We're finally going to get to listen to an album that I've been wanting to listen to for a long time now. Since I, well, six months. Since I discovered Bon Iver's music. Uh, we're going to be finishing up the discography, his studio albums. We're going to be listening to I, I, Today. 13 songs, 39 minutes. I'm so excited to jump into it because... I, I can't really begin to explain how much uh, his music has gotten to mean to me over the last six months since I first heard um, his self-titled project. It's pretty, I can say with, with confidence that he's one of my favorite artists ever. Um, and it's just been kind of healing to listen to his music over the last few months. Um, it's excited me about music again. It has opened the door to a lot of new artists that I also really enjoy, like Novo Amor and uh, Low Swimmer and uh, well, Hale Laker in general, you know, Low Swimmer and Jemima Coulter. Uh, it's, it's just been a whole lot of fun getting into this genre and getting to dive into his discography. I, I really, like I said, I can't begin to put into words how much I've enjoyed listening to his music. And so we had a, a pretty crazy run of album requests there that I had to get to first before I was able to listen to this one. Um, but now that I'm all out of requests, I can get to do this and I can do Rage Against the Machine and I can do a couple others that were um, in my personal hopper for reactions. So bear with me, it's plug time, and then we'll jump into it. I mentioned that I'm all out of requests, but if you would like to specially request a reaction to any album of your choosing, you can do so by sending in a $30 donation to the channel using the Streamlabs link in the description. For those of you in chat, it's pinned at the top of the chat. Uh, I don't have to be streaming for you to use that link, so if I'm not currently streaming but you still want to request an album, you can. I'll get the notification and add it to the queue as well. That link works 24-7. Uh, it's a fantastic way to support the channel. It's been my main source of revenue recently. And uh, it's a great way to guarantee that you get that video that you really want to watch from me. I also want to say a massive thank you to the patrons and members of the channel without whose support I could not make these videos. So thank you guys so much for making them possible uh, and helping me to continue to make these videos as often as I do. Everybody in that $5 tier and above gets access to early, uncut, ad-free reaction videos as well as any videos that end up getting blocked on YouTube. So. Uh, it's also a fantastic way to support the channel, especially since it's not as expensive as the $30 donation and uh, especially if you don't have a specific album that you would like to request, but you still want to show some love. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to watch the live streams, follow me on Twitch and don't forget to like, leave a comment, let me know what you want me to listen to next and subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Over 90% of the videos who are... The YouTube analytics are telling me that over 90% of the people who watch my videos on YouTube aren't subscribed. Uh, by subscribing, you basically tell YouTube that they need to be recommending my videos to more people, and it makes it easier for you to come back to my channel and find older videos that you're interested in and keep up with newer videos that are coming out. So uh, it's a win-win situation right there, uh, and it's absolutely free. So I'd appreciate it. If you're enjoying the contents, consider, if you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing. Thank you so much for bearing with me through the plugs. With those out of the way, we are free to jump into I.I. It looks like the first track is just a, a really quick 30 second intro and it's going to lead into track two. Um, yeah, so let's just let's just jump into it. Yes. Oh, that sounds crazy. Oh, 
This is the um, feel like dying sample. I had no idea. The other way around, obviously. But on a red morning, I'm with it. Oh, I love I that. Spend a little while with it. Man, you have to know, know the way you go. Damn, this is gorgeous. If forgiveness is a chore, what you waiting for? And we've been here before, and I can't ignore it anymore. Just fantastic vocals, as I was expecting. This is so sick. Oh, fuck, these guitars. Awesome with the samples in the background. Man, that's a really cool first track. Wow. He took his sampling to a whole nother level too. and the bass line are so tough. Love the horns, man. Oh my God. Just awesome beats. Switching towards a little bit more of a, a brighter ambient sound. Hey. Dude. 
That track was a little harder than I was expecting. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying the direction he's taking with this one a whole lot. This is so interesting to me. Coming in very late. I think what he's doing with the strings all throughout this project. Very Ask cool. Not to pull alarms. We have to act our ages. Very pretty sound design here. being creative. That one feels very minimalistic in a sense, you know, like it's got very cool sound design, some choppy little synths, um, but there's no drums there. I don't think there really is a bass line. He's saying the bass part, basically. I thought that was really interesting. The vocals doing a whole lot of work there. But all of it is very airy and atmospheric. I just, I really enjoy that about his music. It's so easy to lose yourself in it. This could be the, the standout track. I took it, it was right. 
catchy melody here and all the instruments coming in to support his vocals. I love this. Hey, ma. Fantastic. Awesome. Some guitar work here. There's a fuzzy amp on my right ear. Some strings coming in. Outside the inside. What's good, man? How was your weekend? Yeah, this one's one of my favorites. I think track two, three, and this one are, are like my top three so far from what we've heard. Real good weekend? Awesome, man. It's good to hear. Hey, Ma's your favorite? It's a really good song. Oh, look at these pianos, though. How do you compete? I will see you out now down the back of The soulfulness to the vocals. I love it. This just feels like one of those ones where they're coming together and singing along and it's very wholesome and it has warm vibes and I enjoy it. The pianos are outstanding on this, this song. Very nice. Yeah, it's got almost like a gospel feeling to it for sure. I can hear 
I'm loving the perk loops. I can hear, I can hear crying. I can hear crying. I can hear, I can hear. I can hear, I can hear crying. All along me, I can hear you. Can't sit back on where you're forming that. On my mind, our kids got bigger. But I'm climbing down the bastion now. You take me out to pasture now. Well, I won't be angry long. Well, I can't be angry long. We burnt up in my bed. Standing on the mattress off. Lord, can we just patch this up? And I cannot seem to carry it off. All along we I can hear me. I can hear, I can hear. I can hear, I can hear crying. I can hear crying. I can hear, I can hear. I can hear, I can hear crying. I can hear crying. I can hear, I can hear. I can hear, I can hear crying. I can hear cry. I can hear, I can hear. I can hear, I can hear cry. All around me, I can't hear it. So what is going oh, on? Oh, yeah. Now? If you don't look away, there is kind of a lack of drum presence on this album so far in comparison to some of the other stuff. But these drums right here are awesome. Suddenly the track got so much better with the drums, man. Yeah, that song really picked up when the drums came in. I'm enjoying the way the album is making me feel so far. It's still giving me that same Bon Iver kind of a vibe that I enjoy so much, but... I can't help but compare it to other projects of his, though. That's what I'm trying not to do, but it's been tough not to. Live with a 
back down on the street. I say no more. I won't let no cavalry. How long will you disregard the heat and peace? So miss no more. Of the feeling that I'd better go. So. I slide right out the door. Oh. That's an interesting one. It's very ambient and atmospheric, but. I don't think it's my favorite though. This one could be special. Guitars, the horns, cellos, the distorted bass, big drums, I love it. It's a great song. That's a standout track. I think that might be my second favorite. Although the, f the first song was really, really cool too. The first two were really cool. Well, I thought that this was half of love. Well, I thought that this was half of love. love. To the rise and see. 
Oh man. Just because of the way these guitars sound, this is one of my favorites too. They sound gorgeous, man. The arrangements are awesome, his voice is awesome as well, but the guitars, dude. Yeah, it's picking up here towards the end. Shout out to all the background vocals and horn players, man. Production has been so, so good.
Was that the album or was that Spotify fucking up? That weird pause at the end. Oh, I got an awful night's sleep. I'm so sorry, I'm yawning. This is so pretty, man. I could so easily get lost in this, this sound. Gorgeous. I'm loving all of the keys, the saxophone, the soft drums in the background. Just wonderful pads. Everything sounds so ethereal and spacious. Like a 
way it is be. So what is it we don't teach? When we were children, we were helping. Or oblivious at least. But now it comes to mind we are terrified, so we run and hide for a verified little dream. The way the track is slowly building. Very soft percussion. There were six of us sitting creekside, sifting fist bowls through the creek. Every which way could be seen. Was a sandy town, not a pet of mine, more an anodyne. Was a friend of mine, you don't know, you don't know. I could profit. Everywhere isn't everywhere. This is not a veil or a fairy tale in the meaning. So what of this really? Some life feels good now, don't it? You have to have a living plan. Nothing's gotta ease your mind. Well, it's all fine. And that's I I by Bon Iver. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Actually, let me pull up the track list so I can look at some some standout tracks. I really liked track two, three. Five, nine, ten, and I think eleven. That's Imi, We, Hey Ma, Faith. Marion and Salem. I think those are like my, maybe my five favorites. The other ones I enjoyed, but I would say as a project, I'm not in love with this one off my first listen like I was in love with the other three that he made, you know? I loved the other three the first time that I heard them. And then they just grew on me even more as I listened to it. And so I'm sure this one will grow on me as well. But will it ever reach a point where I think it's as good as the other three? You know, that's, that's what I'm thinking about. Um, I think it sort of picks back, it starts off strong and it picks back up a little bit towards the ending of the, of the album. But in the middle, when we get the, the drumless songs and he's going more for like a, uh, a soundscape kind of atmospheric, vocal centric sort of a vibe. I like it. I think it sounds really good. 
I love the way his voice sounds, the way he layers, the way he produces. I just think that I also really enjoy when he does a really big song with drums and horns and strings and keys and guitars. And, and I also really like when he does something more on the simple side, like on Forema Forever Ago, when he's just, you know, mostly just his voice and, and the guitar. But there was a weird in-between there where he had synths and he had vocals, but he didn't have... It felt almost like a halfway point, you know? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, it's different, which I, which I appreciate that he's not doing the same thing every time. And I like it, but I'm not in love with it. And I think it's going to grow on me a lot, but I don't know that I will ever look at this the way that I look at 20 to a million, for example. Or even his self-titled project, which is, it's, it's my favorite of his. Um, they, they were all just immediately tens to me. And I maintain that those first three albums of his are tens uh, after multiple listens. I, I don't fault them at all for anything. But this one, as much as I liked it, it's not perfect. I would say off my first listen, I'd probably give this like an eight, you know? Like super pleasant, very easy to listen to all the way through. It's got some very high highs. The lows are not low at all. Like they're, they're still higher than a lot of other music. Um, it's consistent and it's uh, cohesive all the way throughout it, you know? It's just that I'm have, where I'm having trouble with it is that I, I can't not compare it to the previous stuff. Um, but I'm still excited for any new things that he's working on. And uh, I can only assume that the hiatus that he took after this project, um, he's been working on something and, and really putting in work to make it as good as possible. I don't know how this was uh, received at the time that it dropped. I don't know how his fans responded to it. But yeah, man, I do, I do like it. I do like it a lot, actually. I just, like I said, it's an eight to me. I just don't immediately love everything about it like I did the other, the other three. So uh, I'm a little conflicted. But I, I can't wait to listen to it again and see if it grows on me, for sure. But yeah, I think those are my thoughts for now. I'm, I'm, it's been kind of a weird day, so I'm, I'm having a little trouble getting my thoughts organized and in order. Um, but I think, I think the gist of how I feel about it off my first listen, I was able to get across. So thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Uh, I left my plugs at the start of the video if you would like to support the channel any way at all. Uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you stay safe, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys next time. Until then, peace out.